Wolfman Moto here. What is happening, my beautiful people? Coming to you from Road Atlanta. This was right after lunch. And as you can see, I'm following young Cameron as we follow a rider coach. We're with Sport Bike Track Time, my favorite organization to do a track day with. They run a very good operation. If you want to have a fun time at the track, with no nonsense, sport bike track time. And as you can see, the coach moves out of the way and lets us do our thing. Uh, the main rule here in this organization, in the intermediate group, which is what we're in, is you cannot pass within six feet. But you can pass inside, you can pass outside, you can pass wherever it's safe, but you just have to keep a six foot buffer. And there I caught a neutral, that was my mistake there. Um, you know, I have the race torques installed at this point, but I also had some problems with my shift linkage, was a little bit loose, and I think that's what caused that. Anyway, so six foot passing rule, so I'm just hanging out behind Cam. Cameron has gotten much better of a rider between even last year and this year. He's improved drastically. And I'm just drafting him here a little bit. And then the, the key to Road Atlanta is keeping it the throttle pinned around that turn nine but when you do that it pulls you over to the left side of the track so I don't always succeed at it but I try to keep it pinned through there my buddy Christian told me that you don't let off until you get to the Motul sign All right, and for the next lap, we're just gonna have some good fun riding. Everything's clean, nobody's doing anything sketchy out here. On this day, we had absolutely zero red flags. We had every session was a complete 20 minute session without stopping. Whenever someone would have a problem, whenever somebody would crash, or not crash, but just have a bike problem, they would pull their bike off the track, over to the side, and they would just sit there and wait for the session to be over. There was never any red flags. A couple of yellows just to slow down when the incident would first happen, but they really like to try to keep the session going uh, and, and not stop it unless it's absolutely necessary. So. Some other organizations love red flags. Sport Bike Track Time does not. See? Pinned. Pinned. On throttle. And there's the Motul sign. Cameron's got some great body position. He gets his knee pucks on both sides. Me, I barely touch. Maybe every once in a while on the left side, but... And that's why he carries more corner speed than me, because he's really like digging into the turn and leaned over. Now, watch this here. Young Cameron is in an unfortunate position where this gentleman right here has young Cameron over there and it allows me to go there. <laughs> Woo, I love when that happens. That's called setting a pick, ladies and gentlemen. That, that guy unwittingly set me a pick and allowed me to sneak by young Cameron. So I'm celebrating right here. But you know, celebrating is 
not very wise when you're riding with somebody like Cam. Cam had pulled right back on my butt, so I kind of gave him the finger coming out of the this turn. Seven, and look, he pulls alongside of me. And he passes back. And, and it was a statement pass. Not only did he pass, but he passed and said, See ya! <laughs> So much fun on this track. If you've never ridden Road Atlanta, you gotta go. If you're in the southern region of the United States, it's a must visit track. And as you can see, the session is over. Let's mosey on into the pits here. See if young Cameron has any thoughts. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much everything I had. <laughs> I officially don't have enough. So, so what did we learn today? Uh, if you're gonna flick off your friend that's behind you, you're probably gonna get passed. <laughs> Half and smoked. <laughs> passed and smoked, that's right. <laughs> and this was a later session, back out on track, and I highlighted this session because I came upon a gentleman on a Ducati Diavel, and you'll see him soon. And I wanted to give this guy a shout out. He was doing some really good riding, and uh, I enjoyed watching him. Sometimes you can't keep it pinned through there due to traffic. Gotta be smart, you gotta be safe. Like right here, six feet. I couldn't shoot, I could have shot through there, but. Was it worth it? No. Just wait, be patient. Here comes Diablo Man. We'll call him. The Diablo really stands out on track because of that giant 240 rear tire it has. I mean, you really notice it as you're approaching it. It's like, whoa, look at that thing. And you see it's got some stomp to it. When he gets on the throttle, that thing pulls. The, the Tuono and the Diablo are pretty evenly matched, stat-wise. You get a good close view of it. And he was hustling this thing, I mean, you see his corner speed was good. Coming out of turns, the thing just took off like a booster rocket. I also have this thing where I don't fully peg the Tuono when I'm on track because it kicks in the wheelie control. I have wheelie control on one. And when the wheelie control kicks on, it cuts power. So I try to keep from getting the wheelie control uh, to kick in. I 
I just started using wheelie control on level one, which is the lowest level. And whoa, turn five here. It's about as close as I got. But yeah, level one works well, um, or I like running it off. So I've got them lined up here, and I'm like, okay, let's go. Now we're racing. And you see, we are dead matched right here. Now the only reason that this stopped is because of this guy coming up right here. I wasn't sure what he was going to do. So I had to back out of it and he just kept it pinned. And then unfortunately, there was the end of the session. I think that was like the checkered flag. They'll give you the checkered flag before start finish and uh, you're supposed to exit pit lane when you see it back there at the bottom of 10. I was like, damn! Good riding, Diablo man. Hopefully you see this and I can hook up with you in the comments. filmed three sessions on this day maybe maybe three and a half and uh, I'm only showing you what I felt like was kind of worth looking at everything else was just me riding around and there was a lot of times where I was on track by myself and I wasn't recording anything so I picked out the, the clips where it involved me being around other riders maybe you spot yourself in here you were there that day. My top speed through here was 158 miles an hour on this day, right here. Right at that point is where the top speed comes in. Maybe not on this lap, but one of these laps. Your line through there is so important. I saw a video of a guy who high-sided because he turned into that turn 12 right there from the middle instead of from the edge of the track. It's so important that you open that turn up as much as possible so you can get a good line out of there and get on the gas for start finish. If you're trying to make the turn and you're gassing through the turn, you'll do like that guy did and you'll high side. This guy here was on a faster bike than me. You can see he's pulling on me real good right here. Let's see, I know the secret to this track, and that is keep it pinned around nine, which is right here. I don't back off. See, he backed off. Remember, if you want to go fast around Road Atlanta, one of the ways you can do it is to keep it pinned around turn nine and brake at the Motul sign or let off the throttle at the Motul sign. That's one of the secrets.
This was a coach in front of me and he was riding, working with another rider. Plenty of room. Atlanta's such a big, wide track. And it's just up and down. It's a roller coaster. What's up, Jazzy Rocket? That's my girl from the Dragon area. Her and her dad, Patrick, were here for the re weekend. See my other video, uh, Dragon Friends at Road Atlanta, and you'll, you'll get a chance to see them. Following this video, People really park it in that turn there. And you gotta be prepared to not hit people if they park it. So always have an escape plan, a plan B, so to speak. This was my last lap. Just a heater of a lap here. Pinned around nine. I think that might have been the 158 lap. And I get him downhill. And damn it, that's a day at Road Atlanta. Thanks to Sport Bike Track Time for a great event. I can't wait to see y'all again. Y'all come back now, you hear?